Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads that the uniform beam has a weight of 5,000 pounds. Determine the average tension in each of the two cables AB and AC if the beam is given an upward speed of 8 feet per second in 1.5 seconds starting from rest. Neglect the mass of the cables. In the second problem, uh, each of the cables can sustain a maximum tension of um, 5,000 pounds if the uniform beam has a weight of 5,000 pounds. Uh, determine the shortest time possible to lift the beam with a speed of 10 feet per second starting from rest. Both problems are coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, uh, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. So in solving these particular problems, we are going to use the concept of linear impulse and linear momentum. So let's start with case one. Right. So what do we have? Let's also draw the free body diagram. So we have the weight. We do have the weight of the beam acting through the center of gravity. And um, if we section these cables like so, we'll have tension force in there. Okay. So this is W, this is T, this is T, this is T, and this is T. Right, so this particular system is accelerating, its velocity changes from 0 to 8. Therefore, it means the tension in the cables will increase, uh, as opposed to if it was in, at rest or in uniform motion. Okay, so here we are. So we are going to use the concept of um, momentum, linear momentum and impulse. So you know that force itself, you know that force, because this is what we want to use to solve this force times uh, the change in T, it's the impulse is equal to M times the change of velocity. So we have this, we have this, and we have this. So remain with the force. This force will help us to find P. And once we find P, then we can find these tension forces, right? Mm -hmm. Great. So let's go ahead. So say force. Uh, force. Okay, times delta T is equal to M times delta V. Where our delta V is equal to V final minus v naught okay so we, we have our v final equal to 8 and we have our v naught equal to 0 and then we have our delta t which is just equal to 1.5 therefore plugging everything in the equation we have f times t okay times t which is 1.5 this is equal to the mass which is just 5000 divided by acceleration to do to due to gravity in feet per second squared then times v final which is 8 minus 0 and therefore f is just going to be equal to uh, 5000 5000 divided by 32.2 times 8 divided by 1.5 so this gives us 828.16 pounds okay 5000 divided by 32.2 um, times 8 divided by 1.5 828.16 so once we have this force then we can now work out we can now work out uh, the summation of forces uh, because this force force this force itself is equal to this particular force 
is equal to uh, this is equal to p minus w okay so this is what this force is equal to right this force that you found is p minus uh, w right and therefore uh, our p our p our p is equal to uh, f plus w so p therefore will just be equal to our f is h 28.16 okay plus w which is just a 5000 okay and p we get this just gives us the 5828.16 Alright, so once we have this, let's apply the equations of motion about this point. I mean the, 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 the equilibrium equations since we found P. Okay, so we'll say summation of forces. We'll say summation of forces, summation of forces is just going to be equal to at this point. We found P is going to be equal to zero. Okay, going up. So we'll have uh, P, okay, uh, minus, mind you, here we have this slope, we have this slope, um, let me draw it here, so we have, this is our slope, okay, so this is 3, and this is 4, and this is 5 so this just becomes p minus p minus uh, p minus this t are the same 2t by the rise 4 divided by 5 and this is just going to be equal to 0 all right we know what p we know what the p is so this just becomes if we replace the values there we'll have a five eight two eight point one six minus two t by four over five equal to zero and our t is just going to be equal to um five two Five eight two eight point one six, um, like so, like so. So this we get a three six, uh, four two point six pounds. Okay. So this is the value of t in the first case. Let's move on to the second case. move on to a second case all right there we go uh, what do we have in the second case so we'll say case 2 this is case 2 which is 15 dash 4 okay so 15 dash 4 so what do we do here for the 15 dash 4 um here they've given us the maximum tension that each cable can sustain and the question is to determine the shortest time all right so in this equation again we are using the equation of uh, linear impulse and linear momentum um so this change in velocity we have we have the mass what else do we have we want to find this okay and um what else and this one we also know it we know that our f here is just equal to p minus w and since they've given us this maximum tension 
we are able to find what it is by just summing up forces so that we get that one right. All right, so let's work it out. Uh, we know that um, we know that. All right, so what do we do here? So we said F delta T is equal to M delta V. Okay, and our F is just equal to P minus W. And we found what P is from here, remember? P, we found that our P, our P is just equal to 2T times 4 divided by 5. Okay, so let's replace everything in there. And then we've been told that T max here is just equal to um where is it is equal to five thousand pounds okay so the question is to find this delta t let's replace everything so we can write this as p minus w okay times delta t is equal to m delta v okay and our delta v is just equal to a v final minus v naught where our v final is equal to 10 and our v naught is equal to 0. So let's replace numbers there. So we have a 2t uh, 4 over 5. This is our p minus w right times delta t is equal to m uh, v final minus v naught. And if we replace numbers, we'll have t2 by 5,000, right, by 4 over 5, minus the weight. The weight still remains, uh, is 5,000. Okay. Then this by delta t, and this is equal to the mass, which is just 5,000, divided by the acceleration due to gravity. And then V final is a 10 minus is coming from rest 0. So making delta T subject to the formula, this is just going to be equal to delta T is equal to T, which is just equal to. So let's find this particular value. So we have 2 by 5000 by 4 over 5 minus 5000. Okay, let me start the other side. All right, even like this is fine. Okay, like so. And then we have uh, 5 uh, divided by 32.2 times 10 and divided by that answer that we just found. So this time we are getting a zero point. We are getting a zero point. 5176 five, one, seven, Okay. Right. Seconds. So let me check it through again. So 2 by 5000 by 4 over 5 minus 5000. Okay. And then we have 5000 divided by 32.2 by 10. And that divided by answer 5176. Okay, I think this is about it. We have uh, solved both problems. In the first case, we found uh, the average tension, so this they are calling it average. We found T, uh, we have found T. Um, just outlining they are like so all right and here we found the time okay i think this is about it and i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like the video continue subscribing and liking the channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast